Hello buddy, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this one we're going to be doing the upper courtyard. I don't really know what else to call this. We can't really call this the rooftops because the rooftops will be the next episode. We're going to do all the drop-offs and get a load of loot that's quite well hidden and can be a little bit complicated. So this one then we're going to do like kind of the courtyard, this kind of snaking looking bridge here that doesn't really meet anything. We're going to be doing that, uh, dealing with Moongrum and the boss of Ray Lucari, which is um, Renala. So quite a lot to do. So little time. I've done it again. <laughs> Such a habit of um, trying to get on the horse. Sorry, guys, I just got hiccups coming out of me, and I really don't know where they're coming from. So, uh, so coming up here, you're gonna be like, oh my god, there's stuff everywhere, and there is literally stuff everywhere. Uh, the first thing you should note is this is a path to the boss, and it's quite a short path, but there is you can't really see it, like a magic um, boulder that's gonna be getting thrown at us as we go down there. Before we set off, I'm just going to come this way, just so it's sorted. This, I think it's a, um, should have another pot up here, which is just useful for us to have. Q, oh my. So many of you all. That's taken my ritual thing off already. That's what I get for trying to be in a rush. Uh, out on this courtyard then, there is a Iron Maiden that patrols it. So we're going to wait for that for now. We'll deal with that in a second. After we've dealt with the uh, the boulder. I like to deal with a lot of it after we've dealt with the boulder. Just because it's the thing that plays on my mind the most. So we're just going to come across here. As you can see, you can drop off. Come around here like this. I should be... Can we see them? No, you can see the portal. Not really see the mages, uh, and that's where the bold is going to come from. For some reason, whenever I'm on the right hand side, it just doesn't hit me. Uh, it obviously, does go over to the right hand side, but this just seems to work well for me. Don't ask me why, but it does. And I have a bit of a, uh, a choice here. You can either either face Moongrim, which is the name of that knight over there right now. Don't take this. This takes you out to the church. Takes you out to the church. Don't go out there. That'll be a pain in the ass. <laughs> You'll regret it. Uh, so yeah, you can either fight this guy now, uh, but he, he can be kind of difficult. Compare you, got some good abilities. Or we can opt to deal with the boulder first and open some shortcuts. So and that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if he aggroes straight away. I haven't tried to stealth things through before. Yeah, there we go, see. We're just going to come over here. There's a mage out here that we need to be careful of. We get the backstab on you. That'd be amazing. No, you just aggro. It's fine though. Don't worry. Are you aggroed on me? No, they're fleeing. Good. So we're going to come over here. First thing we want to do is open this, so they don't have to worry about any of that last little bit again. Next up, we're going to go up the ladder. I put stuff up here. Now, I don't know if this guy aggroes. Sometimes it aggroes on me straight away, sometimes it doesn't. There's going to be a dude that's facing out of the uh, window just there. We just get up the ladder. Hop down. We can make our presence known. It's an opportune time. I don't know what's happening to the sound. I really hope that's not wrecking the videos. Worrying me quite a bit. I'm gonna pop this. I'm gonna deal with big old boy here. So this bit's obviously gonna be real messy. So uh, just be careful. Ouch! Oh my god! Can you please stop? <laughs> How many swings? Okay, round two coming up. Okay, right. Um, I don't really know what I can do to make this better, other than be further away. Like here. Yeah, that works for me. I don't need to kill him anyway. The actual ones you need to defeat are the mages. Um, as once you've defeated them all once, the... 
boulder will no longer spawn. So that is exactly what we want to happen. Come on. This should be three. Where's the others? Not two, is it? Yes, it's two. I'm oh, sure it was three. Hmm. In any case, loot. I'm surprised we were able to get him to drop down there. That was actually kind of cool. That worked. Uh, where are we? Balcony. We're going to, oh, I wonder if you can get stuck there. I like cheesy little bits. This is going to do like no damage because of his helmet being facing towards us. You are stuck. That's good news. At least that means I don't have to worry about you sneaking up on me. I'm not going to bother wasting all that FP. Now, we could do with having uh, reset our uh, physic because this guy's going to hurt. However, if we can catch you with this. Oh, man. Yeah, if we can catch you with this, actually, we should be okay. Like that. Whoa. This guy brutal, right? So you can do that to him. Now then, uh, I didn't have to kill this one last time, so it's going to be back. Let's deal with you. Yes, you. No, you. Yes, you. Like that. Now then, uh, if you want to face the boss right now, I recommend not doing it immediately now. Uh, the boss is actually just that way. But we're going to wait for a minute first. Don't remember. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's a grace up there. Um, I feel like she's going to be real tough for me. <laughs> it's going to be a pain. How much rooms do we have? Nowhere near enough for a level yet. Um, so that's the way you're going to want to do all of the rooftop drop-offs I was talking about before. So for now, we're just going to come on in and... Wow, you just tanked through all of it. I wasn't expecting that. Let's test the range. That would have been bad, would have been bad if that would have hit then. Okay, so super important point item right now. Oh, you aggroed. You come a little closer. This is the Lintstone Wet Blade. And we're going to be using that quite shortly. Excuse me. Yeah, we've got that one already. It's good. Make sure I'm not going to get any aggro edge here. There we go, Golden Rune. That's most of this up a bit done. Let's FP up. Let's take you down. Oh no. Funny business. That should make us alright. You can also get in the way. Let's just be. Diligent about clearing out some some enemies here. Where's the Iron Maiden? There it is. Why is it not patrolling? It's kind of stuck. 
So another enemy where, you know, if you feel like it, there's nothing wrong with going back and resetting for your physic. I'm going to choose not to. Just for a little bit of expedience. And now it's patrolling. How strange. Are you aggro now or what? Doesn't seem like you are. You're coming. Yeah, you must be coming now. Come on. If you weren't, you are now. Look. It's okay though. Lutal has got you. Lutal, get some aggro. Take it out. Hit it. <laughs> that was a fail. How did you do that? There we go. Little's putting some damage in now. There we go. Some real work as well. Look at that. Good job, boy. Good job. That's better. Everyone knows you can do better than that, so don't don't pretend you can't. Yeah, we don't want no uh, crazy blender moves on us. There we are. And I guess they allowed us to summon Little just for that, which is really interesting, but we'll take it. That's crap garb. Deal with you. I don't want nothing chasing me around. Okay, cool. We're looking pretty good actually over time. I think, I think this is going to work out about right. Um, so we can come over this way. We should have... Is there a big crab around here if I remember right? I think there is a big crab, you know. You. How many seeds does that put me on? Three. Perfect. I knew it! Have some damage, sir. Have some damage. There we are. Big crab. I think there's only one big crab. Golden rune. It's not even a good one. Right. Is that dealt with? We'll grab you. And the main thing I want from over this way should be on a little crab round here. Where is it? Just clicking in my uh, lock on button. It should come up soon. Not you. You. So just bear with this. Do the damage. It's not like weapons break in this. And there we have the Carolos Glintstone Crown. All of these have their own flavour of adding intelligence for some kind of um, negative benefit kind of thing. Ooh, can we show this? So we've got increases uh, intelligence for detriment of stamina, increases intelligence detriment of HP. Um, I mean, if we went actually with the full-on one-shot build, as in getting one-shot myself, that'd be a nice way to get three extra intelligence, right? Without any significant loss. Um, it just depends on kind of what you want or what you don't mind losing out on. I really don't like losing stamina. I always feel like that's tight enough. Um, and that should be most of the loot, which is good. There's a couple of bits left on the bridge, but we're going to get those on the way back up to the boss because that's going to be the clearest way now to get to the boss fight. So that means it's time to have a quick rest at the Grace. Let's not fall down any holes. That'd be bad. Yep, it's time for you to have a quick rest, Lootle. Don't worry, you'll be back in the game shortly. And now we're going to go deal with the boss. Um, I've been warned, actually. Um, by someone on the channel. Apparently this is going to be difficult, particularly in the first phase, because um, of the lock-on issue with us using range attacks. There are going to be a lot of enemies in the boss room, so we need to be aware of that as we go in. Hopefully it goes well, but it may not. It may not. Um, I usually like to use Lootle in the second phase. We've got, we've got a double phase boss fight here. And realistically speaking, you really don't want Lootle to be taking damage in the first phase. So we're going to try the first phase without... This, I should have 
should have used these runes, but it's fine. This is exactly why this is exciting. Good thing is, there's like nothing between us and the and the boss in this one, which is real nice. Even if it is a bit of a long run. Let's get this done. To defeat this boss is going to open up the option to respec for people. I find it unlikely that I'll be doing that. I recommend turning the lift back down. Just checks nothing off to the sides. I'm gonna deal with this boss. I really like this boss. I like the aesthetic. Um, it's just real cool. Probably gonna use the rapier in this one a lot. To start with anyway. Um, mostly because otherwise it's gonna be a pain in the ass trying to lock on stuff. And you'll see what I mean shortly enough. I'm not gonna watch any of this. You guys can watch that on your own. Let's not spoil it. So she's in a big orange bubble there. We have to find these ones and break these bubbles that are on the ground. All right, this is phase one. It moves around. Uh, they can be all over the place as well, so just be careful. When you break it, whoa. Shield come down. Oh, I see what you mean. Lock on, it's pretty bad. We can do some damage. Oh my god, she takes like no magic damage. We are stuffed. Don't be near when she does that, because she's going to explode. And then now, rinse and repeat. This is going to be hellish. Let's try the rocks. I feel like they're a different um, damage type on the next one when she comes down. Where uh, is the ball? If it's not in the middle, you want to come around the edges. Ouch. Oh my god. At least we seem to be resistant to their damage too. You. Where's the next one? There it is. Oh. oh man, we're getting crushed. No! You know what I didn't do? I didn't take that extra flask. I'm gonna regret that. We've lost this already. <laughs> uh, there's another one. Give me that. Right, let's see if the rocks do more damage. Oh my god! See if the rocks do some more damage. Yeah, the rocks are much better. <laughs> this is funny. It shouldn't be this difficult, but it is. <laughs> right, break that. Let's get out of here. There's no point in killing the uh, the students, by the way. Um, they'll just re keep on respawning. So. It's not really a thing we can try to do. It looks like you're glowing. Yep, come here. On it. You. I basically got to go through the next phase without getting hit, and that's going to be real difficult. I should have put the um, the blessed dew thing on for this phase. Well, if we die, that's definitely an immediate change. You. Could bring Lutlin now. There's, real, there's really no need. Lutlin is going to make absolutely no difference to this, this part of the fight. Because he just doesn't know what to target and takes damage for no real reason, so it's not really going to help you much. Yeah, I should have should have left that last one. Okay, so one more set, which is almost a shame because um, if we'd have done rocks to start with. We'd have uh, probably had her down now. We could have been on the second phase. It's one. We should change the blessed you now, because we might as well be healing. Don't recommend doing this in. That's uh, usually. Why are you like glowing with a nude? Nothing. That's real weird. Ah, oh, right as I came around the corner. But yeah, I feel like the blessed you would kind of counteract the books a bit. The bigger stuff that hurts a lot, probably not, but the uh, the books definitely. Any in the middle? No, it's not there. Where are you? No, it's not there. Oh!
There it is, there it is. Let's get that on. Oh man, no! Okay, this is gonna be like crazy if we manage to beat the actual boss. This. So now is a good time to summon Lutal. Because he'll be out ready in the next phase. So I need him to take aggro. Uh, the first thing she's going to do is fire a beam at us. We need to be ready for that. It's probably going to hit me because I always find it really difficult to avoid. Nope. Right. Physic. FP. Is that coming for me or him? It's going for him. Um, she'll also have a different phase in this part. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tried to change direction because of the stars. She got me for that. Okay, round two incoming. Okay, let's start round two. Small change to my item lineup. I noticed I had some warming stones. I'm going to try using some of these in the first, uh, in the first phase. Like when we're about to knock her down, I might drop one on the ground and then stand there healing whilst we fire rocks in. Just because I think that makes sense. We're going to start out with the Blessed Dew on, so we'll be recovering health over the course of the first phase, which should mean that I get reduced amounts of healing. I was wrong about uh, my flasks. I actually need one more seed before we can get another flask, and I'm not going to go out and get one. Because that'd be really weird right now. It's just not a good time for it. So, uh, what we learned was we need to use the rocks on the first phase. Uh, oh well, on all of the phases, because clearly that's a different element, as in gravity damage. Um, right, that's the first one done for this phase. I'm not taking too much damage now, which, well, four now, should I say. Where's the next one? Can't see you. There you are. And you're in the middle. Let's do this. No, there we are. Stop dropping out of the sky, no. <laughs> it's going to be the last one I get in. Can't see you out there at all. Get out of the way, get out of the way that quickly. Where are you? There you are. Ah! Not a good time to be missing. No! Don't get stunned by the flame, that'd be real bad. Oh my god! Stop it! Can't remember actually gonna take a heal here. Alright, so this is what I said about. Oh man, stop it! Put a warming stone down. Nope, target her, her, her. There we go. Shame we're not gonna fit that in. Never mind. Kind of annoying we ran out of FP for that. Where is it? There's one. Got the way, got the way. You down. Come on. Oh, there's one left. No! My lack of poise is offending myself. Oh my god, I just cannot resist any hit that it sends at me. Oh no! Okay, then rematch says time for time for phase two. I can't believe I died right at the end of that phase. That was crazy. Oh, uh, let's just hope I can survive this time. This has actually been much tougher than I thought it was going to be. With the caster. Right, I need to dodge this real bad. Oh no, I dodged forward, that was real bad. 
Right, some of this, some of this. Right. Let's see where that's going first. Let's go. It's going towards the other guy. Right, we need to get damage on you, like, rapid. Now, the good thing is we should be, like, really good at staggering you. Oh, my God. There we go. We should take a heal here, realistically. It's going to start summoning any second now. We need to be mega careful. We don't really want to fight the summon. It will disappear after a while, so it's kind of a waste for us. Uh, and she can summon additional stuff while that summon's out, so just be aware of that. Quick dodge! Oh my god! Man, you're so close. She's going to do a thing right now. Nope, don't think so. We'll be good. Can't believe the Bloodhounds was still out with the wolves. Oh. But it's fine. I should just hammer with the rocks. That's what matters. Now, things are going to improve significantly for us now. Um, as not only can we... This has gone on... Oh, it's nearly a 30-minute episode. Wow. It's because I did Renala twice, though. Um, ignore the chest. We can't do anything with that right now. Uh, you can now use your Larval Tears with this lady so that you can get yourself um, respects if you need to. Like, if you're if you're running the same build as me, do it now because uh, this lack of health is debilitating. <laughs> uh, her Remembrance is actually going to give us the Regal Staff, which I actually really want to get, but we need 60 Intelligence to use it. So, um, yeah, make your decision as to whether or not you want to prioritize that or Vigor. But now that we have um, an additional remembrance, if we go and speak to the lady in the round table hold, and just remember, we're going to get invaded here. Uh, so, well, it's kind of innovation. I don't think it is. I don't know. What would you call it? Yeah, here we are. So this guy, I don't know what the story here is. Um, it's really not too bad, I don't think. Just cheese you down, it's fine. He's going to drop us his armor set. It's armor set. I don't know if it's a girl or boy. It's arm sets. Go with it. That works for me. And now we can go and talk to this person. And we should get an extra talisman pouch. Ooh. So you have a choice. Uh, I'm going to go with the defensive one right now because I really need it. But you could, in theory, now have the uh, Graven School Talisman on, which is going to boost your uh, incantation spell by an additional 4%. You could have both this and the Blessed Dew on, maybe to recover some health. But I'm still going to continue flicking between Blessed Dew and Sword Ritual, depending on my situation. And right now we're going to have this on because health is a real issue. Even if it's only 20 it's just too much of an issue for me to ignore it. Um, see what that done. We can also now add some magic scaling to the rapier. So let's do that. Oh man, I can't believe we need 700 runes. Um, right, so we want to get Ash of War. We're going to go to our Bloodhound step. And now we can select magic. Uh, that's going to be significantly stronger. Particularly with the crits when we get those off. Which is nice. So that's done. We could use the Remembrance right now, but there's no point until we get to 60 in. We might as well save the runes and progress that. We can talk to Dialos. So he's now going to Volcano Manor. Which is good. And we have this in here. We should also be able to progress Nefeli's questline. Oh, we still need to do the Belfries, don't we? Belfries. Well, the one Belfry that's worth doing. Nefeli's going to be down here and she's going to want something. Mm -hmm. Please, it's pathetic. Yes, so we have something to do for you. And we'll do that in the next episode. We are at half an hour. That's way longer than I wanted it to be. But we're looking good. Can we, can we, can we upgrade the rapier at all? Yeah, we can. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. 
So yeah, our crit damage should be should be significantly higher, mostly because we've now got scaling on the weapon. What I mean by that is, I wonder if we can show it actually. Let's just show it quickly. So because uh, this is now magic, you can see we're getting 117 plus 46 in comparison to the standard that we're doing 157 plus 20 just in one category, right? So that's 177 in comparison to 163 just in magic, plus the additional 117 in physical, right? So um, that's just going to be better. And as we gain more int, that's going to continue to rise and will also be affected by um, our physic, which increases magical damage even further. So our perks are stronger and our um, crits will be much stronger, which is good. Um, I think that's everything we need in this episode. Dominala. In the next one, we... I just said we're going to do the Belfries, but we're not. We need to do the drop-offs. So we'll be going from the... No, Debate Parlour. We'll be going from the Debate Parlour again. Hopefully you guys will join me for that. And I'll see you all again soon.